My name is Rick and welcome to part three of the MeanIO tutorial, building a goals application from scratch. So in, in this video tutorial, we're going to be covering how to refactor some of the code that MeanIO provides for us. So when we close in that repository, it's in essence, they give us a bunch of code that we don't necessarily need for app, our application to work because our system requirements doesn't really uh, call for it. So there's a lot of, in essence, uh, a lot of code we got to refactor to pull out of the project because we're not going to be need, necessarily needing it. So what are we going to be doing? Uh, the way to do this in MeanIO would be to go into, first we got to log into our server. I'm going to go ahead and log in here real quick. Go to my directory. And and the way you would want to do this on the in, in the ideal world, right, would be to do mean and then uninstall whatever the package name you want to remove. But in this case, we're going to do a mean hit enter and you're going to get this following help command line. So uh, he, the, here's a bunch of uh, command line uh, tools that are kind of built for you so you can actually use them for your application. So we're actually going to be doing a couple of things here. We want to do a mean list and what this is going to do is going to list all the available packages that are currently on the system. So right now there's no core packages and no custom packages but there's a contributed package called mean admin author Linovate. Now, we don't necessarily need this, this mean admin package um, to be actually used in our application. If you actually want to go and take a look at what the packages are available for you to use on your application, you can actually go to the mean, means website and click on, not documentation, but packages. And here's a list of all packages. As you can see, here's this mean admin that was actually in our project when we cloned and installed the mean um, repository. So if we go back, we're going to do a couple things to clean this project up. We're going to go ahead and do a mean uninstall mean admin. And this is going to go ahead and uninstall that package because we no longer need it. Now that we have actually removed that package, we actually want to do one more thing. If you go into packages and you ls, there's this uh, directory called contrib. And this contrib directory is supposedly where all the packages that are contributed by the community should live. But in our case, we're not going to be using any of them, so we're going to go ahead and remove that directory completely. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually pull two more of these modules. So if I do an ls here, we have this module called articles and this other module, module call uh, theme. Now, our application doesn't necessarily call for any of these uh, modules to be used, but since they're not actually in the contrib or in the custom directory, these 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 modules are tightly coupled with a, other modules. So, for example, if you if you delete the themes module, we're actually going to go ahead and break the whole entire system. What am I talking about? Let's go ahead and do this and actually see what this does. We're going to go ahead and remove that directory, and we're going to go ahead and remove this directory also. Now, if we go back and do a grunt into our application. Once again, this is going to go ahead and compile our application. And we're going to go over into our browser and we're going to go into norick.com. We're going to hit refresh and this should break it. As you can see right here, down here we get this nasty, nasty error. Argument theme controller function not got undefined. So we got to go ahead and go and fix this now. So we're going to go up in Sublime and we're going to go into packages we're going to go into system, we're going to go into server, and we're going to go into views, and we're going to go into layout, and we're going to go into default. And as you can see, we have this data ng controller theme controller. But since we already deleted that controller, we're no longer going to need this. We're going to go ahead and save that, close this up, go back into our browser, hit refresh, and voila, we're back to a working project. And as you can see down here, the console's throwing out two different errors, two 404s of this uh, cactus PNG and GMAP PNG. And as you can see, they used to live at themes, assets, image, cactus. Make sure you recognize this pattern because we're actually going to be using this to pull in files in the next tutorial. So as you can see, we have theme, assets, image, cactus. And as you can remember, I don't know if you remember, but we deleted this theme directory because we're not actually going to be using none of their themes. Um, so make sure you remember this, this, this pattern. So it's package, assets, image, uh, whatever image you're referring to. So now that we have done this, we're going to go ahead and uh, go back into the tutorial and we're going to go into creating our own custom package. So if you go back over here, 
close the application. You can close the application anytime by hitting Control C. This will kill the thread. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a mean. And again, this lists out all the commands. And we're going to go ahead and do a mean package no rick. And we actually have to move up a directory into our base directory. And what this is going to do is going to go ahead and do a, in essence, a boilerplate package for us. So we're going to go mean package no rick. And as you can see, there's something here already. So we're going to go back into packages and we're going to do ls minus la. What's in there? Ah, I already built one. So we're going to go in here and do remove minus r, no rick. And we're going to move up with another directory, run the command, and there it is. So now we're going to go into packages. And as you can see, it went ahead and created this directory called custom. So we're going to go into custom. And it created this directory called no rick. And this essence, this is pretty much your package for your application. But we're actually going to do things a little bit different because we're not going to be necessarily doing everything the, the mean IO way of developing the application. So we're going to go ahead and move that directory up a directory. So what am I talking about? So if you go here and do move custom packet uh, no rick, and we're going to move that up to upper directory. This way, it's up with our other packages, which is access, no rig, system, and users. Now we're going to go ahead and remove that custom directory because we no longer need it. Now, you must be asking, well, why did you do that? Why didn't you just keep your package in the custom directory like you should? Well, I don't necessarily like that file structure, and I don't think it's going to work out for my project. And to pretty much summarize this, we pretty much forked off the project at this point. We cannot look back. We have to move on forward and just keep going. And I believe we have to commit this changes. So if you do git status, there's going to be a bunch of files. We're going to do git add and we're going to do git commit. Give it a message and we're going to say uh, cleaned up mean.io default. Let's do boiler plate code and created no rick module. Okay, perfect. So we went ahead and committed that change. That's it for part three. Uh, make sure that if you have not subscribed to my email list, you do because I'm constantly sending out notifications for new tutorials. I hope you found this video useful. Now get ready for part four.